All right, we are pressing on in our Distillery Wars shootout with our workhorse whiskeys. Got two of them lined up for you today. Let's get into them. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews. We are moving on in our Distillery Wars shootout with our workhorse whiskeys. Today we've got two more fantastic whiskeys to battle it out. As I continue to mention in these videos, I have a playlist linked up here that you guys can check out if you're just coming to the shootout now. You can check out all the previous videos we've done. You can check out the video I made where I tell you how I set this whole thing up so you got a little bit of an idea of how these things are working. So I don't want to sit here and re-explain it every video. So if you want to check that out, it's linked up here. Definitely go check out the rest of these videos. It's been a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy them. So today we got these two whiskeys lined up. As I keep mentioning, I don't know where we are in this shootout anymore. These could both be eliminated whiskeys that are battling for the uh, seventh place. They could be on the loser's bracket. They could be in the winner's bracket. Just don't know. So let's just find out which one of these whiskeys is better. Starting with number one. Light fruit. A little bit of honey sweetness, vanilla. Not an overly complex nose, just a little bit of like caramel in there. Number four. I'm having to work for number four. I'm not getting a lot on the nose here. Getting some like vanilla, some oak. Not a lot of fruity sweetness or anything else to really speak of at the moment. So that one's a little bit lacking on the nose right now. But anyways, nose doesn't all matter all that much. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. So this is definitely one of our stronger offerings. Feels like it's a bit higher proof. Right up front, we got some nice light fruit sweetness. Let me get another taste. Yeah, really intense flavors, very robust. Nice and complex. Light fruits up front. Mid palate, we're switching into more red fruits. Um, kind of almost like a berry character. And kind of toward the back of the mid palate, you're getting some spice, some cinnamon, some nutmeg. But it's staying a little bit sweet, which is perfect. It's keeping a really nice balance of sweet and bitterness. Towards the back, you're getting picking up a little vanilla, a little bit of that oak, a little bit of that leather. Mmm, tasting good. Let's move on to number four. Like I said, still lacking on the nose. There's just not much going on on this nose. I'm gonna get a little water real quick. <clears throat> hmm, interesting. I'm gonna need to get another taste, but much more robust on the palate than it is on the nose. Definitely got some intense flavors in here. Packing a little bit of heat. Not quite as much as this one is. Flavors are again nice and robust. I mean, one more taste before I start labeling them off here. So, 
this one's staying a little bit darker for me. Um, definitely has some, a little bit, of, the slightest hint of like a light fruit. Definitely getting more into the like darker fruits though. We've got that like plum, a hint of like a black cherry. Mid palate, it starts to bitter up a little bit. You're starting to get some of those oaky notes. You're getting a little bit of that dark brown sugar. You're getting a little bit of that oak tannin. You're getting a little bit of that tobacco, chocolate, kind of like that bitter baker's chocolate. This one's staying deeper. I don't know if the colors are any different, but again, not that color really matters either. They look relatively similar. Hmm. Both these are really good whiskeys. Both have a lot of flavor and character, so this is definitely going to be a hard decision to make. As we've been doing all these videos, I'm going to go back and forth with these, get some more tasting in, get some more notes. I will bring those notes to you, and I'm going to speed that section up so I don't waste you know, several minutes of your time of me just sipping whiskey. So I'm going to take some notes, I'll decide which one's the winner, and we'll be right back with the results. All right, so I've spent a lot of time going back and forth between these whiskeys, and I think this might be one of the toughest matchups I've had during this entire shootout. Both these whiskeys have a great intensity of flavor. They bring a ton of complexity, both of them, a great balance within themselves. So they're very different whiskeys, but the balance that they each have with the flavors that they carry is fantastic. They're both really good. So I am really, really torn between these two whiskeys. Now, if I'm gonna talk about the negatives on each one, number one, excuse me, number one has a slight harshness to it in terms of the, um, the mouth feel. It's a little bit biting. Um, so it's, the intensity of that, that bite is a little more than here. This is a little bit easier to drink. Now the intensity of the flavors feels pretty similar. I'm imagining this is a touch lower, lower proof but the, the intensity of that flavor is there. The downside on this one comparatively is that this one doesn't quite have the, um, you know, the, the, as wide of a palette of flavors. So this one hits a few more different areas as it comes to the, the flavors on the whiskey. So we have light fruit, we have a little bit of red fruit, we have spice, we have oak, we have vanilla, we have those brown sugar bourbon characters. So there's just a really wide array of different flavors you can dig out in number one. Number four definitely has some complexity there, but it stays more in the deep dark realm. It has um, you know, a little more dark fruit, dark brown sugar. It's got those woody oaky tan notes. It's, it's kind of lacking a little bit on the spice for me, um, but it definitely has a lot of complexity inside of that, that you know, that uh, lane that it's in. So I am really, really torn between these two. I don't know which way to go at this point in time. I, I keep telling myself this one, then I switch to that one. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I got to give it a final tasting. We'll speed that up again real quick. I'm going to take another taste, one of each. I'll make my final decision. All right. So after one more taste on these whiskeys, Again, really, really tough, but I've made my decision, and my decision is based on just the, the complexity of the whiskey. There's more there to, to look for, to bite on it. It's, it's slightly more interesting. Um, both of these are fantastic whiskeys, and at the price point that all these whiskeys came in at under $25, you cannot go wrong with either of them. But today, my winner is going to be number one. Number one will advance on in the shootout, whether it be in the winner's bracket or the loser's bracket, or... I can't imagine this is uh, either of our whiskeys that have already been eliminated and are battling for seventh place. So I, it's definitely moving on, I would say, in this competition. So number four is definitely an awesome runner up in this shootout. Hopefully this is in the winner's bracket and this one gets to move on for another opportunity to compete in the end of this thing because it is really a good whiskey as well. So as always, let me know in the comments down below if you think that I got this challenge right, did I get it wrong? What do you think? What's your opinion? Leave a comment down below. As always, you can catch me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can also catch me on Instagram at mission bottle kill, posting pictures of people killing all kinds of great bottles of whiskey. You can also send me an email at blind whiskey reviews. That's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers. Mm -hmm.